back in the shop working on a project. We're Canada Day and I'm going to be making a mashup between an HBC knife which originated in the 1820s when they started shipping them to Canada and a cleaver. So the HBC knife, I'm going to be using the handle style. Um, it's going to be based off the knife with eyes. So they have two large brass rivets on the sides of the handle. I think it's going to be a really awesome build. It's been hard to get started on this project because I was just scared of moving the massive steel. So what I did was picked up a press, got that thing working, and now I'm ready to roll. I'm going to spark up the forge and get things going. All right, let's clock in and get the party started. Oh, why did I outro like that? <sighs> happy about the blade style, um, the eyes, and this is a brass bolster. So that's the first time I actually press a bit of uh, tool steel and uh, moving and keep working it on the press for a bit, see, uh, see what I can do. Oh, shit. Uh, I need to weld that up. Great. Uh, losing all my heat. Oh, well. Pause and uh, fix this. Sometimes it looks like bubble gum.
definitely hard. Warm up the oil. And then, that's it. Just points to the sky. Everything's looking really nice. I'm quite pleased with it. It's, uh, it's going to get really nice, so. So I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can a little bit. Um, when you're going with the belt, you kind of it almost leaves like slightly off flat texture. So what this is gonna do is get everything nice and level. I can feel the the different hardness in the steel. Like over here, it's a lot slipperier, and up top, it's grittier. Uh, sandpaper grabs out the steel more. Oh yeah, and I cannot pin the wood scales until I put the uh, these rivets in. So there it is. Hope I didn't go too deep. I'm gonna take some sockets. Go like this, and like this. I wanna use my vise. There we go. Press in. Wipe the epoxy off on that side. Well, I'm gonna go clean that off and let this dry. So I went right through the dang rivet. It's looking good, it's comfortable in the hand, um, but this, this I'm not pleased with at all. I need to figure this out. Then I'm going to drill it out and re-drill the, uh, the 7 eighths space 
Then I'll have to recut, repin. Yay. All right. Something always. <laughs> it's not about things going wrong, it's about learning. I should have maybe analyzed the situation a bit more before putting in those pins and uh, thought, how do I actually contour my handles? Well, how does this move cut against brass? Uh. <laughs> I hope it cuts brass. Oh boy. That, that is not what I was hoping for, but that's fine. Oh man. Success. Awesome. I don't think that really could have gone any better. Well, any better would have been not having to deal with it, but a few steps back, but not uh, not detrimental. Detrimental. I mean, I'm so glad I didn't screw it up. Uh. All right. She is sharpened. All right, let's oil it and test it. All right, all right. So I'm using some clear Danish oil. Let's go with the sheet of paper. Let's uh, chop up some celery, shall we? It's a heavy duty chopper. These are extremely hard to cut through. I didn't cut anything. Stick around, like, comment, share. Or like, comment, follow. Like, you can share it, I guess.